Hi, right, John Daniels here from the Daniels Woodland Show. And this week we're in Florida at a huge trade show. We're gonna be showing off a crazy cabin we built. That's if we get it done on time. So here we are at day two for setup in uh, Orlando at our show IAPA. And uh, yesterday was a heck of a day. Forklifts were too short. We finally got out of there last night when they kicked us out and we couldn't work no more. Hopefully we'll get the house up on top of that base and start plugging in some power. Get things hooked up. I'm just getting really nervous because I had hoped we'd be in here a lot farther ahead of all these other exhibiting companies because they're, it's just everything's getting quacked up and we need a lot of heavy equipment in here to lift everything. This cabin is not up in the air yet and we can't start putting shooting galleries together until that cabin gets up in the air because they need to put the forklift in our booth to lift into theirs. So it's it's very complicated. You got this, you need help. You a bartender? That's the only way you're gonna help me. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a shake so you make sure we're good. All right, let's give this help. So today we're hoping to get everything up in the air and get all the big pieces in place. And then we can pull all of our scattered pieces up in tight and then we'll be out of everybody else's way and we'll be organized and, and get up a good head of steam as far as putting our boots together. We're having a square dance in a tiny little closet, but what are you going to do? A rock will be yeah. Yeah. Well, I know. Bring it back down. A little out of time, steady as she goes. Snail's pace, but uh, tortoise in the hair, right? One more piece of the puzzle, baby. One more piece of the puzzle. That's hillbilly for holy shit, we're getting better. <laughs> I'm gonna have to drink twice as much beer because I sweat everything out already and it's only 9.30. Ow! Oh, did it hurt you? What'd you do? I cut my finger. How bad? I'm fine. Go, go get it cleaned up. Just get this out of here. So what we're doing right now is to prep to get the house in the air and get the C-Train underneath the house so that we can put this all back together. Um, and it's a, it's a definitely a move. Before I can do that, I gotta disconnect the axles. And in the interim of that, my old lady got cut. I was helping Mark unbolt the uh, axles from the cabin so we can get it undone, and I cut myself. Ooh, moment of truth, fixing to lift the house. Uh, we have to pick it up with three forklifts. So it's a little precarious because we didn't really design to do it like that, but now there's a big 16 foot wall behind us so we can't get behind with forklifts. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Straight up. Job is a little faster. This is the part I was talking about right now. They can't, they can't get past the forklift because no matter which way it goes, it's scrubbing. So trying to figure out how to get away. Once they can do that, he can come back pretty fast. But all these other booths moved in yesterday, and then they put all their stuff in the aisles, which leaves us no room for movement. All right, give him a yellow ball. So we set that into the house down on a block so they can reposition the forklifts to get the forks out from underneath it. Try to lift it back up and it can't lift it up. Somehow it's catching on the bottom. So we try to lift the house up to get the block out. Everything is just wedged and stuck together and we don't know why. So I'm trying to figure it out. Hey, you pull it out. That was a little tedious. We, uh, you know, putting three people on a different load uh, all at the same time is, is pretty precarious. And then having to hit eight holes with four different forklift operators is pretty tough, but we did it. Okay, so here we are in the middle of day two setup, which should be actually day three, but we didn't get started till late. Middle of the day, 1.30, finally got this cabin up in the air. This is where I had hoped to be actually on day one of the setup. So it's like, you know, we're a day and a half into this and I feel three days behind. Exciting times at the Salt Lake Saloon. All right, come on down, Jarvis. The well, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook you up to this monster staircase that's 
totally pinched in here. Come forward about another foot. Thank you, Yes, sir. Day two. Got the, uh, the staircase up, the uh, all of the decks are up, and uh, we're marching to the right tune now. It was a little touch and go in the beginning, but <laughs> we got her going. Uh, so here we are, it's uh, past overtime, 6.30, day two. It's like the balconies and staircase set on the cabin. We've got the bulk of the shooting galleries actually in place, so it's really starting to pick up the head of steam. I'm feeling a lot better. We're not three days behind after day one. We're, we're maybe two days behind. <laughs> Once during prohibition, I was forced to live for days on nothing but food and water. <laughs> no, I, uh, I feel a lot better. The big pieces are in place so we can really start fanning out and separating people and putting them on all these different tasks and really just checking things off the list. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Make sure you check back next week to see if we get this bad boy done on time. <laughs>